Hey guys, my name's Fazetti. Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to be doing something with the stuff we got from the flower farm that I made last week. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm here in the shopping district and <laughs> this guy is watching me. So it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a surprise for the next person to come through the portal. So the reason I'm at the shopping district is I've got my iron farm here. I don't. Oh, I think he loaded his bow. Um, over there, I've got a little elytra uh, loan station where people can just borrow an elytra for one diamond it costs them ten dollars to get it and when they return it they get nine back but what i'm over in this area doing is creating my shop to sell all the dye in and this is what i've come up with so far so it's going to be a massive pot plant with a flower in the top so I had a bit of a start, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not overly happy with the color of the pot. I tried doing it with actual terracotta because you know pots are often made of terracotta, and it looked really bad. So I changed it to yellow terracotta. No. Hello, Devin, first customer. So yeah, and I've just laid out the the um, the chests. So, I'm going to put water in here. I don't know if it's going to stay like that. But, so what I'm planning on doing now is having a big flower come out the top. So here's the finished product. It looks pretty good. It looks very good at night. It looks a lot better at night than it does during the day. But, it's one extra thing that is just needed hanging around the flower that, you know, Minecraft recently announced. There we go, that's what we needed. A bee coming to visit the flower. So, if you didn't see, there was a, an update or an announcement that 1.15 of Minecraft is coming out and the first thing they've announced are bees. So they're going to have bees um, and hives and you make them angry and they sting you. It's, it's all happening in the bee world in Minecraft. So that sounds like a bit of fun. So I can't wait to see what else they've got in store for 1.15. So all I've got to do now is move all the dies across and I think what I'll do is I'll sell them for... How much will I sell them for? I think I'll sell them for one and a half stacks per diamond and I'll have each of the colors in here. So I'll, I'll set the store up and stock as many of these as I can. And we'll see if we make any money from our dye shop, which has got to be the best looking shop so far. I've just checked my shops and the iron golem shop had sold out, but I have restocked it. So it's ready to go. And I also sold some dye out of the way. Uh, what's your name, Ralph? He doesn't want me to leave. I also sold some dye over in my little dye shop and sold out of the black dye. So it's not a bad start for the shop. So I've restocked that except I'm still out of black dye in that shop there. I received some reports that the server was misbehaving and that the mob spawns were grinding to a standstill. Wondall said it was an issue with his skelly farm, his skelly wither farm. So for the last few days, that's pretty much all I've been doing, is researching what could be going wrong. Checking out plugins, doing upgrades, nothing really seemed to fix it. So after trying everything, I thought that maybe just some of the surrounding areas were not spawn proof. But the guys, as you can see, have done a, a, traf a terrific job in sloping the areas. And they've, in some areas, I noticed they've put down some buttons. But there's probably around about 12,000 slabs in this area. So I just spent six hours at least tracking down areas that were not spawn proofed. And this is the result. It is a drudge of wither skellies. Yes, that is the collective noun for wither skellies. A drudge. Yeah, I looked it up. So in here, one wither skelly head. 
just going to give them a little love tap here. There's quite a few here. Probably about 56. And I didn't see any uh, heads, but that doesn't mean there weren't any. But maybe there weren't any. And as you can see, they're quickly coming back. So from my six hours of... I think so. Ooh, there was one. So from my six hours of messing around with the farm, I have got 54 wither skulls. Wither, wither skelly skulls. So what am I going to do with these heads? I thought we could create the wither rose farm to help keep the black dye in stock. We used to have one here, but it seems that someone killed off the wither. So, who used to sit underneath us, I think. Where did he sit? Somewhere around here. Trying desperately hard not to look at. I used to sit in there, in one of the old portals. And he shoots out at the endermen that are up the top there. So... I'm going to go and try and rebuild this farm, so that should be fun, because I'm sure these guys are going to think I'm looking at them. They come and try and kill me. So let me go off and gather some resources. So here I am in a very, very scary place. I don't like the end because all these endermen are just out to look at you. I'm a bit oversensitive about that, but we're at this abandoned farm that I think may have been slime ricks but there's been nothing going on here for a few weeks and the wither that used to reside in there has disappeared I think someone killed him for an easy beacon so I'm going to try and resurrect it here so I've set up a couple of beacons over here just to give me some strength and things just in case I look at one of these guys I've also set up little hidey hole here that I can um, get under to protect myself because I'm pretty sure at some point I'm going to look at one and I'm going to need somewhere to hide but yeah I got pretty good armor so we should be okay now I forget up here and have a bit of a look there used to be a ladder coming up so I've just replaced it with where did you come from because if you came from in there you're just a one hit let's find out there yeah. They've already taken full damage, they're just one hit. So I've set up a little landing here and this is where we're going to set up the farm. Now, the tutorial that I was looking at was done by Ray's Works. I think I've looked at one of his tutorials before. So I'm gonna fix up the sort of damage that's going on here. I'm going to put the new collection system here with a minecart running underneath. Um, yeah, probably going to replace these with full blocks, I think, maybe. Anyway, we'll find out. And so we'll end up putting the wither in here. Might be one of the last things we do. Not ever, just, you know, in, in this video. We'll put him in last. And I've seen there's a little on-off switch, which basically puts, as the wither sits in here, his tail hangs out the bottom. And if you stick something in his tail, I don't think anyone likes that. He stops uh, firing his heads off. So, all right, I'm going to leave that alone. So that's the idea. I think what I will do is I'll get started on it and I will do it in a little third person. Okay, that was uh, relatively harmless. No one died. This is the little device here that puts the fence post where his tail will hang out and that effectively stops the farm because that stops him shooting out his heads. And when it's like that, he'd be going. In here, we're gonna have the Enderman dropping down. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just fly up to the top and see if we've got an AFK point above the farm. And if not, I'll, I'll quickly build one of them. 
And yes, it seems we do have an AFK. Damn it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get a new Endermite. Right, we've got a lot of Endermen down there. If the Endermite was doing his job and wasn't being dead, they'd all be falling down the farm. So I'm going to go and try and set up a new Endermite. I'm gonna to have to go home and get a name tag to give him a name. So I will pop back when I'm doing that. Okay, so we've got him there. Let's name tag him. And I just check the video again. So he does. Let's get rid of them. He does take away the bottom two. Ah, seriously, that that's it. He's in a he's in a box. Okay, I gave it another try and failed. So this is the new attempt. I have a name tag here. It's Ender Maybe 4. We are certainly going through these Endermites. And this is the way that someone said to do it. So 5% chance of spawning an Endermite. Where'd he go? Come back here. See, I don't think he's been name tagged. And he's dead. So I'm gonna try and name tag him before he gets in the car. All right. He's tagged. He's in. He still bites me. It's gonna hurt him. He's gotta stop doing that. Let me take them out just in case he bites me again. Let's go up here. Have a bit of a, a sit. Is it working? It appears to be working. And then there's this mystery block here that you can just drop rockets into. So we should have a whole stack of them here. And we do. All right, so next thing on the list is to maybe clean up this area. I've got to get rid of everything, make it so things won't spawn here. So I'm gonna change most of this to slabs. Clean up the area and put in the wither. All right, so I tidied up a little bit and I forgot to mention, but I've put a little lever here that will start the little minecart going and stopping. So if you unload chunks, it doesn't get stuck in the end there. These guys are making a racket, which reminds me to turn this right down because now it's time to spawn this guy. So I believe, what do I believe? I believe that he goes like this somewhere over here. I might just extend this out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. All right, this will either work or end quite badly. All right, it didn't end badly. It didn't end badly. So he's gonna make a bit of a bang, which could cause some damage over here. So I do need to... <laughs> So, okay, now he is probably getting bored. So I've got to flip this before he causes damage to anything else. So it looks like he killed all of the guys in there. I don't have my little minecart running. Let's start him up. 
All right, I'm gonna go upstairs. All fixed. There was also a hole over there which was stopping the minecart going around. But like in that, I don't know, 20 seconds, if that, 63 with the roses. So what I'm gonna do is, do I need to name him? No, I don't think they despawn. No, if they despawned, it'd be good, right? When they're running around causing havoc. I am going to try and land on this thing. Let them go down then go down, flick the switch and then come back up here. I don't fall to my death. Sort of looks like. No, he's not killing them. Okay. All right. So I got to flick this switch and then get back up the top there to keep to keep them there. Yeah, to keep a supply of Enderman. Oh, it might have been nicer if I was on the other side. I can do that. All right. I'm going to wait a couple of minutes and then I'm going to go down and see what we've got. Been a couple of minutes, been sitting up here looking at these guys looking like ants. Why don't those ones move? Anyway, let's go down and see what the damage is looking like. <laughs> yeah, it could have been fun. So there's in the pearl scattered all over the joint. I'm going to have to switch him off. That is quite a few of them still there. Uh, just like another stack. A few fallen out. 15. Several hours later, I was off collecting yellow dye and making yellow glass just so it looks pretty. I ran out, so it's not completely finished. But my idea is that I... Put some water here, it goes all the way down. I've got myself as much kelp as I could carry because my pockets are a little bit full. I, and as well, I've got water breathing. So my ingenious plan is go down the bottom, I'll take water breathing, go down the bottom, build kelp all the way up so and then break it so it becomes source blocks i've got soul sand down the bottom and this will become a water elevator to get me all the way up the top here so i don't have to stress about flying up here i'm fine flying down it's just getting up here that worries me so let's take that and go down here we've got eight minutes to do this It doesn't take me eight minutes to get down the bottom. I went straight through the little spawning area. You can see this is uh, probably about where I ran out of. Is this not going to work? It won't plant on soul sand. Okay. Okay, now, what am I gonna do? I need some rockets. I'm gonna fly down and break the one down there. Put soul sand in and fingers crossed, we have an elevator. Do I have soul sand somewhere? Did it give it back to me? I didn't bring any more. Where would it have gone? At least it's floated all the way at the top. All right, I think that might be success. Let me go and get some soul sand 
and I don't think I brought any more with me. All right, I found some soul sand in my building chest. Let's place it down here and we have bubbles. Let's hope the bubbles go all the way to the top. And I just found my soul sand. <laughs> it was floating in the bubbles in the water. And we are here. All right, that is a thousand percent better than flying up here. Might make this look a bit better, but for now, this will do me. This will do. I can just also get on, I hope. So let's switch him on. So I can get in here as well. Yay. So I think flying down is okay. I could also do a little water drop down, but this will do me. I am going to sit up here for an hour and see what happens. Well, the hour's up and we also sustained some more damage. So one of these blocks here was blown out. Um, not sure why. So it looks like it's a little bit unstable. I changed this around a little bit. Uh, have I got a block on me? I've got a shulker block. I can't jump on a shulker box. Um, yeah, so I changed this around a little bit just so we could pick up items that were falling on the floor in front. But let's go and see what we managed to get in an hour. So I think the the you know the damage occurred quite late, probably in the last five minutes. So how am I going to do this? If I pinch all of them and all of them, you can have that back. I'll take another one. You can have all this as well. That, that, that. So, pretty much, pretty close to just a double chest worth of Wither Roses, which, you know, is okay in an hour, and that is going to last you quite a while, but you will have to, like, pay attention to what is happening up there. Also, uh, we might not be able to see it, but I did change the Endermite as well. I noticed that from up the top, they the Enderman wouldn't move into the middle if they were close. It's like they couldn't see him if they got too close. So I moved him down half a block and that seemed to help a little bit still. They were you know they they were sitting around like these two are here and they just wouldn't go. I think eventually they despawn. Um but yeah, I was just worried that it might affect you know the, the number of endermen in the in the in the blast chamber, and that might cause him to get a little bit bored. But you know, like t this amount of wither rose is going to last quite a while. I'll convert it into dye and sell it in the shop, and if anyone wanted some wither roses, I'd be able to help them out. But that is where I'm going to end this episode. So thanks very much. If you liked the episode, hit the thumbs up button. I think next episode, I'm getting a bit sick of running through my tunnels. So I might be uh, putting in some form of transport between the tunnels. And maybe, uh, maybe a gold mine, a gold mine, a gold farm. Or possibly I might jump on the bandwagon and have a look at a sea temple and see if I can get myself some sea lanterns but so one or all or a couple of those things will happen in the next episode I hope to see you there if you're new here and you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button it helps me out a lot and I will see you next time bye